King of Sports. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Welcome everyone to the Fighting Spirit Unleashed Tour, night one here at the Vermont Hollywood in Hollywood, California. Ian Riccoboni, Alex Kozlov, we're coming off the High Alert Tour. Alex, and first, I, I love the shades. Man, you're, you're looking like me today. I mean, uh, you got the shades. Uh, you know, they're probably magnifying shades because uh, you, you can't see very well. But like the shirt, I like the shirt. Maybe you can unbutton that top button a little bit. The wow. second one. Yeah, How yeah. many? Are you just two. Yeah, go two. two. Yeah. Well, well I'll, think, I'll ask my wife about that. Maybe she'll have some advice. But we're going to make history again on this tour because the first ever defense of the strong openweight tag team championship happens tonight, night one of the tour on high alert in Charlotte. We saw Aussie Open make history winning the tag team titles, but they had no room to breathe with those strong open weight tag team championships because Jarrell Nelson made the first challenge and as you know, the challenge was answered. Well look, uh, Jarrell Nelson made a convincing point that they are the building blocks of the tag team division of New Japan Strong, the show here. And so uh, they feel deserve, deserving of the first, uh, you know, to be the first challengers. Uh, the only thing, uh, there's a little uh, mental edge that I think Aussie Open has. I mean, they're on a winning streak. They are the first ever strong upweight tag team champions. West Coast Wrecking Crew lost in the first round. But that's not to, like, we can't undermine them because uh, they are one of the best tag teams here on Strong. And so this is going to be interesting. What a main event. And of course, we will see the return of Robbie Eagles right here on New Japan Strong. Uh, almost after about two years. It's been almost two years since we've seen Robbie here, and he's going to take on the undefeated Kevin Blackwood. Kevin Blackwood, yeah, he's made a couple of appearances. Very impressive. Undefeated, what, only, what, two two matches, right? Defeated Ari Davari right here in this building, Alex. That's right. And so this is going to be, uh, the, the styles of both of these men will make for an exciting match. You talk about styles, though, when we kick things off here, two luchadors, Mascara Dorada, and Mysterioso, big poppy pump, first time ever they're meeting one-on-one, -on -one, Alex. Oh man, uh, no better way to start the show than with uh, some of the best luchadors in el mundo. Let's waste no more time. Fighting Spirit Unleashed starts now. Open match, 15 minutes, one minute of Welcome everyone to the Fighting Spirit Unleashed tour. Kicking things off, Alex Kozlov. I'm Ian Riccoboni. I'm so excited that we get a matchup of this caliber that I almost messed our names up, Alex. It's not often that we kick off the tour with a first-time dream match. Ian Riccoboni, I'm so excited to be here because, I mean, what? there's no better way than to start with two of the best luchadors in El Mundo. And here we have Big Poppy Pump in the house. Look at him. Listen to the music. It's so majestic. This is going to be a spectacle. And as the tour kicks off, this match will start the tour, the match that will end the tour in three weeks' time. Will be for the Strong Openweight Championship. Fred Rosser defending against TJP, but this is a treat in its own right. This is Mysterioso by my count. I could be wrong, but by my count, his first singles match since January 2021 on the Road to Lions Break Contender Tour, where he took on future partner Baron Brown. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been involved in a lot of tag team matches, and we will get to see what he's got as a singles competitor. I have no doubt in him, but we have Mascara Dorada, the king of the ropes, former CMLL world Champion, this man can do it all inside that ring. And Ian, he comes from Guadalajara, a 
Jalisco, Mexico, which is known to have some of the most beautiful women out of Mexico, and not surprisingly, where some of the most driven men come from. Well, he might need to dig down and find that drive, because as we know, in Charlotte, at high alert, he lost a grudge match to TJP, the man that will be challenging for the strong open weight championship. I don't think it's lost on Mascara Dorada, the fact that if, if he had won that match, he would probably be in line for that shot at the championship at the end of the tour. Instead, he is in a dream match here, the first time strong encounter against the fellow luchador, but he will have to pick himself up and shake himself off, because not only did he lose to a rival, he lost to a man that the matchmakers at the championship committee decided to issue and award a challenge at the Strong Open Weight Championship to. We're gonna have to see how he reacts, how he responds here. There you see an arm drag from Mysterioso and one from Dorada. Ooh. The mental game will be so important here. We are starting off hot here. Lateral press. Beautiful and even exchange between these two great luchadors. Mysterioso, of course, recently participated in the Strong Open Weight Tag Team Tournament along with Barry Brown, but was eliminated by Ozzy Open. Well, no shame in losing to the champs, I'll say that much. Not so Ozzy Open, that's for sure. They may not be the champs at the end of tonight, though, as they defend the titles against the West Coast Wrecking Crew in our main event. You see Mysterioso, that strength, that step behind, cover. One. Alex, I gotta gotta ask you about the mental state and Mascara Dorada. You've been a you're a very decorated star for IWGP Junior Tag Team Champion. Two. Look at that bridging out. One, two, former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion. When you lose, how tough is it to bounce back after a heartbreaking loss? Well, look, I mean the, the the pressure is on you. You know, you're only as good as your last match. If, if you have a big loss, yeah, you know, you, uh, there's that much more <laughs> pressure to win. And look at the, the king of ropes. Incredible. Showing why that title was not self-anointed. Mascara Dorada. Oh, are you? What? Mr. Yoso catching Mascara it, Dorada. It slamming him into the rails. Planting him into the lion mark. What incredible power by Big Poppy Pump. I, I toss my son Zach around in the pool. He's probably about 50 pounds. I can barely catch him. How do you catch a near 200 pound man flying through the air? All that momentum. Think about all that momentum coming your way. That was incredible. These two are trying to steal the show. It's not every day we get to see some of the best face off against each other. Two luchadors at that. Mysterioso sending Dorada back into the ring. And the wrinkle for sure. The elephant in the room is the fact that Mysterioso can fly almost as good as Dorada, but certainly is stronger and more powerful. And rolling through. Pops him up. Dorada. Hurricane Rana catches the legs, but it's Mysterioso too. Close line sends him into the corner. Oh, we've seen this before. Look at the look at the momentum. Oh! Oh god, the double E's! Creating that's, the space to close the distance. That's a lot of weight coming at your sternum like that. Two. Sneaks the shoulder out there. Cover again. One count. And that's got to affect your breathing, Alex. That's got to affect even your head, the whiplash of your head going back and forth in that corner. Absolutely. And you can see the pain that Mosco Dorada is in. He is out. We saw it with TJP. We know that he is just a perpetual ball of energy. And to see him slow down like this, you know, we know that Mysterioso in firm control here. Well, that's the thing about Mysterioso. He's a he's a, a high flyer. He's fast, but he's not your ordinary luchador. He's heavy. He's thick. He's like a heavyweight. And nobody home there. It's Mysterioso. Oh, oh, him out. oh, oh, oh. And Mascara Dorada from the neutral corner. He's gonna jump it. No, no, he's not. Oh! Not yet! Oh my God. <laughs> wow! Takes a couple of steps on that top rope before flying with that big Santa. My God. I, th I thought he was gonna jump from the neutral corner. And, and he did something, he did something even crazier. He ran the ropes. 
and hit the senton on Mysterioso. And we've seen it before, but that doesn't make it any less impressive. And Springboard oh. caught him. Caught him with a stalling senton. Two. Oh. Two count there. And that was great accuracy by Mascar Dorado with that senton. Landed right on top of Mysterioso. Now leading Mysterioso back to his feet. Lyreman's carry position. Dorada, kicked to the midsection by Mysterioso. Now into the neutral corner. Mysterioso sent up and over. Dorada block. Mysterioso with a big kick. Second rope on the outside. Now all the way to the top. It's Mysterioso. Oh, shotgun drop kick. What a treat to see these two go. I mean, they are representing the Lucha Libre style. And how exciting is it to watch? about 230 pounds. Fans here in Hollywood are in disbelief at what they're seeing. This is too much to handle. And Dorada obviously took the brunt of that. You see him holding his head, crashing into the barricade. But un understated, Mysterioso crashing into that barricade. I've seen wrestlers TK Ryan and Ring of Honor break their legs crashing into the yeah. barricade like that. So you gotta wonder how Mysterioso is doing his work. We are fast approaching a 20 count here. When you're made of leche, like Mysterioso. Getting close to, to 20 here. 17 breaks the count. And they are leaving nothing to chance here. Both men laying it all on the line. The opener of the Fighting Spirit Unleashed Tour. Drop kick again. Going for the cover here, this could be it, two. Almost three there. And both men have to be rattled by that. Yeah. High risk, high reward. Unfortunately for Mysterioso, I think he got the worst of both ends. He got, he got the crash landing for Mascara Dorada that he wanted, but he also had his own crash and burn. Yeah, after a move like that, the pace has slowed down a little bit. They're certainly giving it all. Fireman's carry position, Dorada. And can you imagine, this is only the first match of the first night of the Fighting Spirit Unleashed Tour. That's right, and we still have the strong openweight tag team championship defense. It's an exciting night. Oh, close line, both men staggered. Had the same idea there. Dorada up and over. Oh, Block man. to the right, connects with the Insegiri. I think he's out. And every man, woman, they have an off button. Dorado may have hit Mysterioso. Oh, he's back. Wow. Ooh. He's able to get up from that. He must be a little bit discombobulated. Trying to break the grip of Dorado now. Second rope on the outside. Oh Both men up to the top. Mysterioso. Dorado in danger. Oh! Springboard. Top rope Hurricanrana. Lucha Libre its best. Going for the cover here. Two. Oh, man. I got to say, as I'm watching these two go at it, I mean, uh, I, I can see how important it is to, I mean, to showcase what they are capable of. This is a showcase of Lucha Libre, the tradition, the high flying ability, the pace that they're known for. And Mysterioso Dorada on his back. Wow. Ooh! Look at that. Wheelbarrow German stacking him up. Two! And that shows the exhaustion Mysterioso yeah. is facing. Normally, he would just pop back through. He would get a deeper, tighter cover. He is so driven in this match that he has emptied the gas tank out where he couldn't quite get where he wanted. But he remains in control off the ropes. Oh C4, my God. C4 countered, countered. But uh, Mr. Russell was a little too heavy for him, especially at this point in the match. Yeah, the strength advantage for Mysterioso. Dorada, waist lock here. Oh, oh plants man. him on his neck. Back up on adrenaline, popping up and through. Dorada caught. Oh, spins himself around, plants Mysterioso. 
Is looking for the finish here. Certainly is on the fireman's carry. Oh, plants him. Cover two and three. Wow. Dorada driver from the fireman's carry position. Off the airplane spin. That was the Guadalajara County Slam. He comes out victorious with that. I will tell you, even though Mascarada is declared the winner, there are no losers in this match. Both of them are winners. What they showcased tonight, incredible. And it came down to endurance. It was the moment in the match where Mr. for me, where Mysterioso couldn't quite pop through like he normally would earlier in the match to secure the, the pin, secure and trap the legs of Dorada for the victory. That gave Dorada just a millisecond to recover, to hit the DDT, and then that Dorada drive, wouldn't you get the Guadalajara County Slam. Amazing. From the airplane spin into the driver, maybe we should just call it the Dorada driver. Guadalajara County Slam is what they call it. Well, we wondered if Dorada could bounce back, and he did, and then some mascara. Dorada, your victor in our opening contest. Coming up next, the return of Robbie Eagles, taking on the undefeated Kevin Blackwood. An exciting time here on New Japan Strong. An anticipated return as Ari Davari picks up steam in Ring of Honor and in AEW. It was this man who may have sent him into that spiral to find himself because this man defeated Ari Davari right here on New Japan Strong and is looking to build on the success he found right here in this building, the Vermont Hollywood. In Hollywood, California, Kevin Blackwood coming into this match undefeated in New Japan Strong Competition. Oh. What's impressive about Kevin Blackwood is, uh, you know, he's a straight edge, vegan, which is probably what none of these people here in Hollywood are here uh, with this bar being emptied. What? can't disparage our fans like that. Great fans here in New Japan Strong, who have paid in no small part to see the return of this man to the New Japan Strong ring. The first Australian, the first Filipino IWGP champion of any kind. He won both singles and tag gold last year, just represented New Japan in the CMLL Grand Prix. Just challenged Dragon Rudo Jr. for the CMLL World Middleweight Championship. You know, he did the world a favor, too, back at Wrestle Kingdom. Exposed El Fantasmo's loaded super kick boot. Just because I'm a nice guy, I just want to make a little correction. I want to correct you. You said in the sure. intro of this show that it's been two years since we've seen Robin Eagles. It's actually been one year. Have you missed him that much? Absence makes the heart grow fonder. It's actually the first time I'm, I'm calling a Robbie Eagles match, Alex. Of course, you know you were there for his first match. Yeah, on New Japan Strong, and I, I was not. It was a great encounter. And this is a throw for me. We're seeing the return of Kevin Blackwood, the return of Robbie Eagles, two men. Really two of the best junior heavyweight style wrestlers in the world right now. And we, we think about it, you see Robbie Eagles, you know, handprint across the wrestling world, helped train Kyle Fletcher among many, many others. He re helped reinvigorate the dormant, what was a dormant Australian scene. Known for his Ron Miller special, and Ron Miller, of course, a star from the 60s and 70s in the original WCW. It was one of the hottest territories in the world for about 10 years. Your, your dad, Kevin Kelly, probably knew of Ron Miller. <laughs> Hammerlock here, Robbie Eagles, not afraid to mix it up technically sound. 
Plays his finishing move, the Ron Miller special, a, a technical hold, almost like a calf killer, calf slicer. So is Kevin Blackwood, uh, actually very technical, uh, a really good striker. Uh, there is, uh, there are uh, quite a few similarities in s in their style, which will make for a good matchup. Absolutely, this is a this is a matchup. This is one of those that I didn't know I wanted to see it until it was announced, until it was signed. Steps inside the ankle, and, and that's very quickly. The sharpshooter is a signature of Kevin Blackwood. So Robbie Eagles knew right away that he was in brief danger if that sharpshooter was was put in. And uh, well, what's so fascinating about Kevin uh, Blackwood is, I mean, can you imagine being in an accident and breaking both of your ankles and returning from that? Because that's what happened with, uh, to Kevin Blackwood in 2019. It's incredible the the recovery, the the journey back, and the kind of athlete that he's been able to become. Shoulder tackle there by Robbie Eagles. It certainly says something too that he had to recover and retrain during the pandemic when most gyms and most wrestling clubs were shut down for the year. And then some nice, beautiful leapfrog. Drop down, almost catches Blackwood. It's Eagles up wow. and over. Double leg takedown for Blackwood. Going and for again, it again. Again, the sharpshooter, the clover leaf. And that shows the respect Robbie Eagles has for Blackwood, knowing, knowing on sight that he likes the sharpshooter, the clover leaf. And I mean, he's very effective with it. Like, he knows how to apply that pressure. He's finished many opponents with it. And that's quite the difference. Oh, oh God. man. He made him pay for, the, for holding on. Certainly did. That'll Sometimes you just got to let go. Right. Oh, wow. And look at that. Double wrist lock, high double wrist lock takeover. It is Eagles. Full head of steam. Body scissor there, takes over Blackwood. Oh! oh. Spinning heel kick. Fine, fine acrobatics. And what a treat it is to see Robbie Eagles. A little egocentric, uh, wouldn't you say? I, you know, hey. Get on Tom Lawler's case for showboating. I, I got to get, uh, you're right. It's, as much as I like to see this guy won, you know, if I'm going to, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And, and I maintain that if you pander to the crowd a little too much, or if you try and taunt your opponent a little too much, you're wasting opportunities. Sometimes it's a waste. It's correct. You got to find the right oh. balance. Because sometimes the point of it is also to get inside your opponent's head, to frustrate them. And Eagles here. Oh, oh goodness. Yes. And again. Now the, the tables may be turned here. Shot to the midsection. Breaks his grip, clubbing forearm off the ropes. Ducks down with a kick off the ropes. Oh, Blackwood sending Robbie Eagles down. Yeah, you heard, you heard the sound of that. Wow. Swing and a miss. Waist lock. Breaks the grip. Standing switch. Back elbow misses. Double leg takedown. Oh, and Blackwood that time. Smart micro transition there because twice before he had gone either for the clover leaf, number one, two, That's or right. the sharpshooter. He caught Eagles off guard. Great cerebral move there by Blackwood. He faked him. He yeah. faked him. You know, uh, that's what Robbie Eagles was expecting. He didn't expect the stomp to the sternum. Using his homework against him there. That's right. And now we're seeing the educated kicks of Kevin Blackwood. And it's rare that you see Robbie Eagles retreat. But he did to get out of the way, like you said, of those kicks. Trying to catch his breath in the ropes. That is Blackwood driving him down onto the line mark. Remember here, one, two. Just a two count. Stepping over, Blackwood has him trapped here. And look at that, point of the elbow into the shoulder. Opening up that oblique, that stretch there. Difficult to recover from this position to catch when, as you're being pulled in every direction and being stretched. And somehow Robbie was able to get up to his feet. Into that side headlock, it said, up and over, Eagles. Oh, Whoa, trapping that left leg. Oh, God. That was lightning quick. 
Yes. That was incredible. Strike to the tip top of the spine. Some involuntary movement from Kevin Blackwood. And Eagles swinging the tide, the pendulum. Ooh. Robbie, oh, wow. Robbie Eagles has got kicks of his own. Well versed. Eagles off the ropes. Oh, Ooh. man. Rolling through. Eagles charging in, up the ladder with the, the high knees. Oh, eats a boot there. Eagles, though, staying on top, sweeping the legs. And it's Eagles charging oh, in, but blocked. Man. Blocked by Blackwood. That was rough. And the worst part about that was Blackwood had those legs up, but there was nothing Eagles could do about it. That's right, he was already in the air. Oh! And Blackwood now staying on top of Eagles by the wrist. Exploder blocked by Eagles, dropping those hips just enough. Kick caught. Ooh, kick blocked. Oh, wow. man. Both men had the same idea in mind, knocking each other silly there for a moment. Forearm delivered. And, and I gotta say, I mean, a victory over Robbie Eagles. Oh my goodness. With his accomplishments would do wonders for the career of Kevin Blackwood. We talked about the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship and Robbie Eagles' recent past. This would shoot Kevin Blackwood probably on a tour of Japan if he was able to pull this through. Four arms delivered. Test of will here. And both men, neither man conceding an inch. Leaning oh, forward. Oh, man. Oh, God, right into the hamstring. Ooh. Oh! Blackwood caught by Eagles. Oh! Again! Swing and a miss. Oh! Blackwood, pump knee. Oh! Wow! Discus forearm. Has him. Blocking with the wrist. Oh. The pulse drop. Delivers. Pulse drop out of absolutely nowhere. And normally, Eagles would, would be on top of it. Blackwood has, has drained his energy so much. It gives him a second, too. And it was Eagles. The effort from Blackwood has slowed down Eagles just enough. Normally, he'd go straight for the pin and allow Blackwood to kick out. Well, I mean, he's found somebody uh, that's his Ooh. match, somebody as quick, as agile as him. Second rope on the inside, nobody home. It is Eagles sent out of the apron. Oh! Wow, man. Springboard Eagles drop kicks the knee out from the leg. Hyper extends the leg. Oh, wait a minute. And hit it. Oh, look at Blackwood here. Looking for that clover leaf. Will he be able to turn him over? He does. And, and look at the high angle, which puts all kinds of pressure on the neck and the shoulder. And Eagles is trying to sneak that shoulder out, curl it in to alleviate the pressure. Oh, man, but he's in excruciating pain right now. Certainly is. Look at just writhing in oh. pain as he gets to the bottom rope. But Blackwood, no worse for the wear. He's he's struggling as well. Eagles create separation. Maybe a little hobble now. Ducks down, catches him with a oh. body lock into a pinning combination. Two count there. Both men back to their feet. Oh, nice leg trip. Oh, God. Connects on the back of the head. Blackwood. Look at the power of Blackwood. Oh, oh man. Brain buster. One, two. Oh. Robbie Eagles kicking out at the very last second, but he just, he was just dropped on the back of his neck and Kevin Blackwood going to the top. Leaving himself exposed. Double stop. Ooh. Oh, that knee buckled, that knee buckled hard. It hyperextended for a split second. Back elbow. 
Blackwood is hobbled. Leg caught. Oh, over the top with a backpack. Hooking the leg, two. Just a two count there. Oh. Wow. That turbo backpack getting two. I think he's going for the warp 4.5. And he got all of it. 450 splash on that leg. And this is usually the setup. And it's no different here. The Ron Miller special. The Ron Miller special. Oh. And Kevin Blackwood is far from the rope. He has it in the dead center of the ring across the line mark. The legs tangle up across the strong insignia. Oh, man. Kevin oh, Blackwood but... made some progress, but Robbie Eagles pulled him back. against the West Coast Wrecking Crew. Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, Papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Champions, Ozzy Open have done it. We wrestle anyone, I don't care. That's right. We tell, we say it. Any We're the team. best in the world. Ozzy Open the best in the world. Any team in the world. Ozzy, Wow. Hey. Now you got a lot of nerve here, brother. Didn't take long, brother. Listen, huh? I'm here to fight right now. Okay. I mean, I'll fight. Congratulations, I'll fight. Boys. You punch me, I did. Those titles are beautiful. They belong on you right now. Mm -hmm. But let me keep this short and sweet. Please. Let me remind you that it was Team Filthy that built New Japan strong, not the United Empire. It was the West Coast Wrecking Crew that built this tag division, mm. not Ozzy Oak. Mm. <laughs> but I don't care. We said any team, any time, any place. Fighting Spirit Unleashed, Ozzy Oak, West Coast Wrecking Crew. That's all I want. That's all I want. Just to remind you all you who runs this show. Okay. We've been, we've been hey, we'll be waiting. We're waiting here. Huh? See you then, brother. For the first time here on New Japan Strong, we will see the Strong Openweight Tag Team Championships being defended, Alex. 
And what a way, what a main event for the first night of the Fighting Spirit Unleashed Tour. The champs with one successful defense under their belt in Rev Pro in England, defeating Destination Everywhere. Connor Mills and Michael Oku, they take on these gentlemen who've been chomping at the bit. That's right, the West Coast wrecking crew and Jarrell Nelson made a very good point to Ozzy Open when he made that challenge. They are the building blocks of this tag team division of New Japan Strong, as Boys Isaac is joining him from G1 Tour. <laughs> And what a tour it was for Royce Isaacs, represented Team Filthy in Japan, and it personally got put to the test against athletes like Kenta, Will Ospreay, Jeff Cobb, Zack Sabre Jr. But he comes back knowing that Jarrell Nelson picked up a victory over Shane Hayes, member of TMDK, and that put them in the driver's seat to be contenders for the Strong Openweight Tag Team Championships. The first time it's being defended here on New Japan Strong. But we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about the journey that brought the United Empire's Aussie Open to the promised land, Alex. That's right, Aussie Open defeated Christopher Daniels and Yuya Yomura for the Strong Openweight Tag Team Championship. And here they are with those beautiful new belts. Mark Davis on the right, Kyle Fletcher, excuse me, Mark Davis on the left, Kyle Fletcher on your right. And this team has been everywhere. We talked about Red Pro, we've talked about AEW in the past. This is a team that will have championships, will travel. And they are really out to prove that they are the best team in the world. They've certainly done so here on New Japan Strong. <laughs> When you think about it, Ian, their rise here to the main event scene here on New Japan Strong, their rise to these Tag Team Championship titles has been very quick. They've only been here only for a few months, and look how quickly they have captured the titles. They are at the peak here on New Japan Strong. I first met these men back in England in 2018. They competed for Ring of Honor. It was their, their first match un, under a Ring of Honor banner, and you could tell them that something special was brewing. But with time and experience, Aussie Open really has a little fire, and if you've been following the scene, I think the I think the pandemic put things in a different perspective. Because normally, you know, you would see a team rise gradually, but this is a team that really took took the reps that they got during the pandemic to heart, and they really outworked everybody in the pandemic in the gym, in the ring, in Australia, doing their best to stay sharp. They came out firing. And like you said, it's been four months here in New Japan, but they're already the first champions, already have a successful title defense, and already facing maybe the cream of the crop here in the West Coast Wrecking Crew. Well, the West Coast Wrecking Crew feel uh, deserving of this opportunity. They feel like they deserve those titles. And they have been considered to be one of the best tag teams here on Strong, and this is gonna be quite a matchup. See a Waist lock here from Jarrell Nelson on Kyle Fletcher. Fletcher, the youngest man in the match. Standing switch, ooh, look at that takedown. But very quickly, Nelson getting back to a vertical base, trying to break the grip. Spinning out of it, maintains control of the wrist of Fletcher, gives it up to look for a double leg. Fletcher blocks it, counters, wrist lock into a hammer lock, side headlock here by Nelson. Nice exchange here with Jarrell Nelson, ending up with the advantage with a headlock. Shoots him off, Kyle oh. Fletcher, shoulder to shoulder with Nelson. And that may have surprised Nelson, because he's one of the strongest men on strong. That's right, he is stronger here, but Kyle Fletcher is a little bit taller, and he was able to leverage that height to stay grounded. Fletcher off the ropes, shoulder to shoulder. And by the way, these shoulder tackles, they are not pretty. They don't <laughs> feel very good. They take something out of you. You never want to show it, though. Oh, and that's 
exactly what you meant. You can tell there was just a touch of mischief in the eyes of Fletcher, but he offered it. But no offer there, just a straight spear. Oh! And another jump and tackle, taking Kyle Fletcher down. And Fletcher retreating to the neutral corner, and it's Nelson with the double knees high in the chest of Fletcher. And you can feel the motivation on the West Coast Wrecking Crew because right now they are fighting for the strong Openweight Tag Team Championship. Shot to the midsection. It was a title they, and many thought, were created because of the West Coast Wrecking Crew, because the West Coast Wrecking Crew had helped establish such a robust tag team division. Cover there, one count. And Royce Isaacs in for the first time legally here with Kyle Fletcher in the blue corner. And this is such a part of the West Coast Wrecking Crew's game plan to trap their opponents in their corner. They did it so well with Team Filthy. They definitely take advantage of the tag team moves perfectly. Get in and flick damage, tag out, preserving energy while their partner inflicts even more damage. Look at oh. They got Kyle Fletcher there, isolated. Well, think about what that does. Taking the leg out as we see a basement clothesline. That, that Coriolis has been such a devastating move and won them the championship. And if you take out Kyle Fletcher's legs, you, you can't, they won't be able to hit it. Mark Davis gets in illegally to save his partner. And this is an interesting matchup because it's two teams that, that are traditionally rule breakers, two teams that will go right up to that line. Look at that. They got the big man up. It's been over six seconds, seven. Oh! Such a disorienting experience to be hung up upside down for that long. Oh, uh, calling for oh, the post. Oh, get your cameras uh, out. Get your cameras out. Take a good picture and, of this. And they look great, but I would oh. I would disagree with that. They have Fletcher down in the corner, Alex. This is for the championship. This is how they uh, amp up. This is, uh, this is how they succeed. Oh, nobody home. Big oh, boom. Oh, man. And it, it does work for some. They have a great record. I know. Ooh. Oh, man. I know Fletcher just connected with that big jumping at Zagari. Davis gets Isaacs on the outside now. And he's going to give him a tour of the ringside area. Oh! oh. Back suplexes on the apron in stereo for the champs Aussie Open. The most unforgiving part of the ring. Only a one count there. Oh! Oh, man, what a soccer kick to the back of Jarrell Nelson. And this is not a good position for West Coast Wrecking Crew right now. When Ozzy Open gets going, they are unstoppable. They're so fast, so agile. And they keep the target locked in. They are not letting Nelson go anywhere. Cover to, and again, this is interesting because both teams now, Seemingly having the advantage of taking time for the mind games, taking time for the gesticulation, the posing. Yeah, and I gotta say that part of uh, Aussie Open success is their ability to control the pace. And if West Coast Re Wrecking Crew can find a way to break that pattern, Which, go at their own pace, they have a chance. Oh, but Davis, who is. There you go. Davis is the horse of Aussie Open. He is the stronger of the two, maybe the strongest in the match. Ooh! And Nelson using stick and move. Tag made to Fletcher. Nelson almost to the corner. But Kyle Fletcher smart enough to take out Isaacs, and no tag can be made. Into the corner. It's Fletcher going back to work here. Oh, Ooh. man, what a swing. And now, what's he going for here? Yeah, perching Nelson up on the top of the neutral corner. High risk maneuver if he can connect with this. And we're going to find out how well that leg is doing. Is Nelson going oh, right back right. to it? Oh, and then we saw Isaacs bite Nelson's bicep earlier. This time, Nelson to the face of Fletcher. Oh! Caught him! He flew halfway across the ring. Incredible athleticism. And Fletcher in a bad way. The air driven right through 
And Jor Jarrell Nelson just bought himself a little bit of time. Can he make that tag to Royce Isaacs? So Kyle Fletcher holding on to the leg here. So close to that corner. Nelson trying to fight Fletcher away. Nelson to the corner makes the tag to Isaacs. Davis wants a tag, but Fletcher choosing to fight. power behind that forearm. Knocks Mark Davis off the apron. And it's oh! Isaacs! Powering through! And he is certainly a powerhouse. Isaacs charging in! And Fletcher just eating those clotheslines. And Mark Davis has seen enough, trying to break things up here. Ducks the right. Oh! oh! Superman punch across the jaw! How about that? He's got both members of Ozzy open. Inflicting damage, double damage with those strong, strong lariats. And charging in with the Momo! Stacking up both Ozzy open. Front face lock here, Isaacs. Oh! Plants him down, hooks the leg. Two. Kyle Fletcher barely lifting his shoulders up. And that was a heck of a jackhammer like maneuver there by Isaacs planning Fletcher down. I thought that was it there, Alex. Well, it, 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 it was an incredible show of fire by Royce Isaac. Oh, and Kyle Fletcher trying to block the Irish whip here. Oh, and that, that is hurting Fletcher. He may be holding on, but that that pull on the arm is definitely definitely doesn't feel good. Fletcher with a reversal. Oh, oh my God! Straight through the jaw of Royce Isaac. Front face lock, and it's Fletcher countered. Isaacs. Oh, look at the power! Plants it with a German suplex right on his neck. And you can see the lights are on, but no one is home for Fletcher. He is moving around on adrenaline as West Coast Wrecking Crew looking to get to the finish line here. Yeah, we're they're, they're going for the finish. Looking to capture the tag team titles. One, two. two. Oh! Davis just in the nick of time. Ooh. Oh! Nelson with a big knee. Ian, I think we're on the brink of seeing new champions oh! crown. And they do too. The West Coast Wrecking Group feeling it here in Hollywood. Double waist locks. The oh my God. Standing switches. Aussie open. Oh no. Oh. Double brain busters. Looking to bring Nelson to his feet. Oh no, oh no, I think they're going for it. They're getting them ready. Getting Jarrell Nelson ready for the Warriors, but Nelson moves out of the way. Isaacs under the jaw. Oh, super kick. And one from Nelson. Davis caught. Oh, West Coast Record crew with a golden opportunity here. Nelson, pop up. Isaacs! This is it, Ian! They could have their champions here! Cover! Two! Two. Throw! Was, wow! Are you kidding me, Ian? Oh my god! They were milli, milli seconds away from being crowned! Amazing! Oh my god, what are On they gonna the do? Knees. West Coast Wrecking Crew. They are feeling it on the doorstep here. Up and over, Fletcher sending Isaacs into Nelson. They stop on another super oh. kick. Catching the face of Nelson. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, no. Has him up. Oh, oh, dental plan. Nails it. Oh, Fletcher and Davis. Plan Isaacs, cover. Two. Oh, oh my Nelson. God, Jordan Nelson breaks the pin. Time. What a match! 
Nelson sent to the outside. Oh! oh Fletcher out of My nowhere! God. Tag made! Arms wrenched! Oh no! Summoning oh. up Davis! Summoning up Isaacs! West Coast Wrecking Crew after what they have given. The effort that they put through, they were merely seconds from winning. I think that this is a rematch in the making. I can see a rematch down the road. West Coast Wrecking Crew have certainly proved that they are worthy. They're, they're worthy of a rematch. But they will have to start back at the bottom of the ladder. You think about teams. Like Kevin Knight in the DKC, you think about the Stray Dog Army, you think about maybe Rapongi Vice. Rapongi Vice. They're back in the mix here on New Japan Strong. They'll be on our main event coming up next week. But we'll see Rapongi Vice, Taylor Russ, and Kushida take on Bullet Club. Jay White, Juice Robinson, Nicolaio, and Chase Owens at our main event next week. But this week, the story is our main event, our winners. Aussie Open, two for two with title defenses. Currently the first and the only, and they are willing to travel with those titles, defend them anywhere. What a great episode this has been, kicking things off with the fighting spirit on these tours. For Alex Kozlov, I'm Ian Thanks for joining us. Happy wrestling, everybody.